In this video, we're going to try to solve why your Fire TV won't connect successfully to the Wi-Fi network. Okay, so the first thing you may want to try to solve problems with your Fire TV connecting to Wi-Fi is just do a simple reset, get that out of the way. Sometimes it's as simple as that. You can uh, just go to, from the home screen, go to your settings, go to My Fire TV, and then restart. You can also accomplish the same thing by just simply disconnecting the power cable to your Fire TV, waiting about 10 seconds, and then connecting it again. All right, and the next thing you can do is reset your router or modem. Just go unplug all of your networking equipment. Unplug your wireless router and modem. If you're using a wireless extender or a hotspot, unplug that as well. Wait about 30 seconds before you plug it all back in again. Even if your other devices seem to be connected to Wi-Fi just fine, the router may just need to be cleared because something jammed with the connection to the Fire TV. And as a note, sometimes the router and motor, modem are contained within the same device by your internet provider, so if, you may only need to unplug one device. One more thing you can try is we can tell our Fire TV to forget the network that we're trying to connect to. This will kind of clear things out as far as settings that the Fire TV may have on that network and may get you back working again. So from the home screen, we're going to go to our settings option. We'll go to network. And I am connected to a wireless network here, but let's pretend I'm not. I'm having problems getting connected to that Twinkle Fairy 5G UXT network and I want to fix it. So uh, I can forget the network by pressing the menu button on the remote. That's the button with the three lines and it says it there on the, on the right. Press that button to the menu button to forget this network. I'm going to do that and it wants me to confirm forgetting it by pressing the select button. So I'll do that. And now it's forgotten, but it is available still. And so what we want to do is reconnect to that network. So I'll go down and select that network. I'll type in my password. And then we'll connect. And I am connected again. So something else to try. Hope it works out for you. If uh, you're still having trouble. One thing you want to be sure of is that there's no interference interfering with your Wi-Fi network. That could cause you to not be able to connect sometimes. So I'm going to go under my network. I'll show you. I have a wireless router that is dual band. It's the most common type of uh, wireless router, dual band or tri-band. They will uh, they will broadcast a network that is both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Now 2.4 gigahertz networks like the one I'm connected to now, uh, they have a wider range. They are slower, but they are also very prone to interference. And if you're still using a 2.4 gigahertz network and you're in a, a neighborhood where you have a lot of neighbors around you, that have baby monitors, wireless cameras, other Wi-Fi networks, there's going to be a lot of interference on, on your network. Um, so it, you'll, your connection will drop. Sometimes you won't even be able to connect. It will show up here as, uh, see, I, I have a high signal. Uh, but even if I have a high signal, if I have a lot of networks around me, and if you have a look, I. You can see all networks. I have a lot of networks around me that's just uh, competing for those uh, 2.5, 2.4 gigahertz channels. You want to make sure you are using a five gigahertz connection. Uh, I'll go in here and now it shows, uh, I'll go back on the screen. It shows in the brackets there in the, that it's a five gigahertz network. Uh, these days, you want to you want to be on a five gigahertz network. They they don't have as wide of a range, but there's more channels available, 
and it's a faster connection. Uh, if you're not sure if you have a uh, 2.4 gigahertz or gigahertz or 5 gigahertz network available, you're not sure what you have, you may want to download and install a, an app on your phone called the uh, Wi-Fi Analyzer, and that'll give you some information about the, the networks you have available. Uh, so something else to look up. Fortunately here I can connect, but if you're not able to connect uh, to your Wi-Fi network from your Fire TV, you're not going to be able to see all this data, but it's something to look at. Be sure you're using a five gigahertz network if you're in a crowded area. Uh, otherwise, that could be the reason you're not able to connect to your uh, your Wi-Fi. One more thing I'm going to cover really quick is make sure you're not connected to the wrong network. I once had a neighbor. We both had uh, wireless networks that were that were named the same. They were actually named Linksys. And I went in here and I kept connecting to Linksys thinking that it was my own um, wireless network. And it turned out it was the neighbors. And when I had typed the password, it, uh, it wouldn't work, of course, because it wasn't mine. So just one of those random things that could happen. It, I know it's uh, the chance of that happening is not very common, but it's something else to check if you're still having problems and the, uh, the password's not working for you. All right, if you've tried everything in this video, we may be looking at a factory reset. A factory reset will reset your Fire TV back to factory defaults, clearing all settings. You can perform a factory reset by going to the home screen and then settings. We'll go to my Fire TV. On some systems, this may say system. We'll go down to reset to factory defaults and there you can select reset. When you do this, and I'm not going to do it in my case, but when you do this, it'll reset everything uh, back. If you log back in with the same account that you were using, your same Amazon account, all your apps will return, but you may need to retype the passwords and set some, some settings in the apps uh, as they, they may be erased. If this video helped you, be sure to like and subscribe. And for tips like this and more, visit streamersworld.com. Thanks for watching.